guys, thanks for watching Faster and Louder. So, I'm making another video, and it is about my challenger. Um, this channel is not really specifically for dodges or challengers or anything like that. It just happens to be a lot about that because that is the only car I currently have right now. <coughs> but, um, after doing the cam swap and everything, I actually noticed that um, well, not right afterwards, but soon after, I actually found out that uh, my motor mounts are actually going bad. Um, like when I'm actually just turning the steering wheel, you can actually feel it rubbing against the headers a little bit, and it wasn't doing that before, which leads me to believe that uh, it's kind of like sagging on one side or something, and now it's just barely rubbing the headers. But it's really annoying, and I want to fix it. So, I have done a lot of thinking about what I actually want to do. And I still don't know what I want to do really. But um, the first choice is just to go with the OEM uh, motor mounts. And OEM is obviously going to be just fine. Um, it's definitely the most comfortable to use. But the reason I don't want to go with that is because I know there's better options out there. Like technically you can use polyurethane and polyurethane is um, it's just not gonna not gonna allow so much flex in the motor mount so it'll put the power to the ground a little more efficiently it doesn't have the driveline deflection I believe they call it so it, it gets rid of that problem a little bit with polyurethane and polyurethane wears out way slower than rubber does and it's really hot and dry here so it would be nice to have something a little more durable in the desert climate we have here. So I was thinking about doing polyurethane and I looked into it and there's, I believe, one option. One freaking option for all of, all Challengers, um, Chrysler 300s, Chargers, everything. There's, um, there's one option and it's a company called Prothane which makes a ton of other stuff. But it's 300, $322 before taxes for a pair of motor mounts, which is a lot considering I can get a pair of OEM motor mounts for, I believe, $60 maybe? It's like, obviously I know it's gonna cost more money, but I was expecting like $150, $200, something like that. $322 is a little pricey for me. Um, and then I'm also looking at solid motor mounts, which is obviously just bolting your engine to the frame and that's it. There's no cushion or anything, which is performance wise, the best option. For comfort, not so much. So I'm not really sure what I, what I want to do just yet, but I'm definitely just leaning towards doing an OEM motor mount right now. And uh, I don't know, I guess I'll do another video soon-ish or at some point in the future um, explaining the decision that I made, uh, which motor mount I ended up going with, but um, I don't know, maybe there's somebody out there, uh, if you're watching this video right now, you can give me uh, some advice, or uh, point me in the right direction, maybe there's some other option that I don't know about just yet, but yeah, if you know, if you know anything that I don't know, I would love to hear it. <laughs> Because right now I only have a couple options and I'm just not super happy with it. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.